We're making Ratatouille's Ratatouille! For those who have seen the movie, you know that Remy is a chef magnifique that impresses everyone with the modern version of the traditional Ratatouille. Yep, the version in the movie is actually called Confit Pialdi and it was created by super chef Thomas Keller and it's perfect to impress even the most demanding critic. Unfortunately, Remy's super popular right now and he's super busy so he couldn't come, but instead we have his sous chef Remy! Hello Remy, how are you? Please tell me you help me. Okay, great. You heard that? Jot down the ingredients in the description and now let's start. Get in there. Get in there. We'll start by making our base sauce and for that we need to roast some peppers. Hey, if you're a kid, you need to ask an adult for help now because we'll be using some fire. Under an open flame, roast all of your peppers on all their sides until blackened. And then we'll quickly pass each to a resealable bag, seal it and let them steam. This helps soften them. After some minutes, we'll be able to easily take off their skins, help yourself with a spoon to do this, and wash them to finish cleaning them. Mmm, soft like a baby's butt. Following that, we'll start heating olive oil under medium heat and add lots of garlic and some onion. Let's also add in some chopped tomatoes, try not to get too many seeds in there, and some slices of our ratatouille component. Up next, the spices, fresh basil and thyme. Mix and cover with a lid to cook for about 10 minutes. Once that's done, the ingredients will be softer and we can transfer them to a blender along with the roasted peppers, a bit of water, and some salt and pepper. Blend everything very, very well. And if you'd like, you can also strain it. Our sauce is ready. Now let's see how it is. Delicio! Merci, baby! Now let's continue by preheating our oven to 320 degrees Fahrenheit and making the shingles of our veggies. We'll be using eggplant, woohoo! <laughs> Green zucchini, woohoo! Yellow zucchini, woohoo! And one, and two, and, and, and three tomatoes! <laughs> but we gotta remove the skin of the tomatoes, so we're going to scald them which is basically slicing a small cross on both of their edges, placing them in boiling water for 30 seconds, and then taking them out to an ice water bath to stop cooking them. This will make skinning them très facile. Now two very important things about the veggies. Try to have veggies with similar width, <laughs> and also slice them with a very sharp knife or a mandolin. The eggplants can be tricky, because you gotta place your slices in salty water to avoid them from browning, and sometimes that can get pretty big, but I'll show you a little trick afterwards. Now let's slice away. First up, the green zucchini. Your slices should be this thin. And now on to the yellow zucchini and the tomato. These slices will be slightly thicker since they get thinner when cooked. You'll notice slicing the eggplant is a bit harder, but the trick is to have patience and to move your knife from side to side, slowly adding pressure as you go. Don't worry if you end up with pieces that are not full circles, we'll still use them. Once we have our shingles, find a pan or skillet that you can use in the oven and cover its base with sauce. Just add a little bit and spread it around like a pizza sauce. You can use the leftovers for many of ratatouille or you can drink it as soup, it's super delicious. And now you're just gonna create a pattern with your veggies and I'll show you the eggplant trick. You just gotta slice it in fourths like this. Now form the pattern. I'm doing mine first with yellow zucchini, then tomato, green zucchini, and eggplant. And do this times a hundred to cover the entire base. Try to put your similar side slices closely together. While you watch this hypnotizing stuff, why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't and click on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Huh? some condiments. Hmm, what could we add? Sorry. What? Salt? Okay. Pepper? Pepper? And, and, yeah, I know. Time. Mammy also said it's great to add a bit of olive oil on top. And now we'll 
cover is gilded with a circle of parchment paper that also has a circle in the middle. A small hole to be precise. And we'll stick this inside the preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. My house smells delicious and I think our ratatouille is ready. And now comes the beautiful part, plating. To present it like it was in the movie, you'll need a big round cylinder or two cookie cutters that you can paste like I did mine. We'll place the cylinder in the center of our dish and all you gotta do is grab handfuls of veggie shingles, helping yourself with a couple of spoons, and placing them vertically, fill it all very tightly to prevent the whole dish from falling apart. And finally, add a couple of rows horizontally on top. If you see a bit of sauce escaping the mold, just dry it out, and dun dun dun, the reveal! Now let's give it a finishing touch with some sauce around it. Oh yeah, now it looks expensive. A few fresh parsley leaves and a twig on top. Wow, Remy would be proud. I got Mimi. Look what we have created. Isn't it wonderful? I can't wait. Let's try this. Mm. I can't say that this brings me flavors from my childhood ratatouille, like the food critic in the movie, but this flavor is so powerful. You can taste each and every one of the veggies. It's magnifique. Hope you like this recipe that you share it, and that you comment below with other TV or movie recipes that you'd like me to recreate. Ça est tout aujourd'hui, et à la prochaine, la coquette. Bisous!